When using arrays, it's important to understand how they're structured and how they're set up to better use them to their fullest potential. So an array by nature has a set number of items inside of it. This cannot change unless you reinitialize the array. So to reinitialize you use this kind of thing. Specify that it is now a new int of three numbers inside of it. But what if you want to add or change what's oh sorry, add or remove items from the list? You'd have to use a list. So to think about an array, I'd like you to think about a shoe rack with a number of slots inside of it. Because when you create a shoe rack, you create the slots and you can change whatever's inside them. You can leave them empty if you wish, but you cannot remove them and you cannot add more without creating a whole new shoe rack. Okay, you can use the old shoe rack and paste some more slots onto them on the end by gluing them together, but you're still left with a new shoe rack. Okay, so when thinking about arrays, whatever object type you're using, as if it's a class object, so any, any sort of class, or if it's a primitive or anything like that, regardless, you cannot change the size of the array. To change the size of an array, you have to reinitialize it. So that is doing this, and I mentioned this before, but just wanted to run through it again. Now, how do we get around the fact that we can't change what sizing is? We do this by using an array list. So a shopping list is a shopping list, right? So that's why we have the word list here. Yeah? So it's to specify that it is changeable and you can move stuff around in it, basically. So the array list is actually an import using java.util asterisk, all the utilities imported. Um, so if you have a look at it, it has a different structure to an array. Instead of using the brackets here, it uses uh, the less than and greater than sign. So an array list is in its nature a class, and it you specify which type of primitive or object will be used inside of it, just like you do with a normal array by specifying the object or type and then the brackets. So what an array list does is it has functionality inside of it to actually interact with a in inbuilt array and edit it and change it as you need and see fit. So what this presents you with is the ability to add new objects into this array, also to remove objects from the array. So it also presents you with the ability to do whatever you did in a normal array as well. So it's more powerful but it does use up more memory. So if you know exactly what's going to be in the array and it's never going to need more or less space, you can just use a normal array. But if you want to have a changeable list, then you are going to want to use an array list. So that will be the end of our first just kind of brushing up on concepts of arrays. So next up we're going to go into how to actually start using them.